Hello there people with eyes, welcome to day two of book review week, the week in which I talk to you about five different books and then you pick one and try and win it. Today's book is The Ultra Shiny Ultraviolet by RJ Anderson. I have to tell you readers now that I loved this book. I mean, I quite liked the author's previous stories, her fairy tales, but I loved, loved, loved this one. One day Alison wakes up in hospital, with no memory of how she got there. She doesn't know any of the people around her, and before she knows what's happening, they're committing her to a psychiatric ward. Alison is worried. She's always secretly wondered if there wasn't something wrong with her. She could feel things that others couldn't. Colours that weren't supposed to be there, tastes that didn't belong. Maybe they'd finally figured her out. But as Alison's questioned about a girl called Tori who used to go to her school, she begins to realise things are much more complicated than she thought. Tori is missing, and they think Alison killed her. The worst thing is, when Alison is really truthful with herself, she can't be sure she didn't kill her. She can't remember. Alison wants to stand up for herself. She wants to get out of this prison full of mental patients, to get back to her home, to her family, to her music. But the more and more people keep telling her she's crazy, the more and more she starts to believe them. Now, I'm not normally a fan of taglines, but I'm going to read you this one because it's just so fantastic. Once upon a time, there was a girl who was special. This is not her story unless you count the part where I killed her. This book is brilliant, guys. So fresh, so exciting, so unlike anything else out there at the moment. Something like a YA Count of Monte Cristo with added colour and sci-fi. Okay, firstly, The Psychopath's Ward. This was a brilliant setting. It was a bit like a boarding school story. You suddenly had all these teens who were thrown together from different ways of life and they all had to interact with one another. However, these characters, as well as being teens, have all been committed for one reason or another to a mental institution. So it really does make for some interesting characters and some interesting relationships. Then we have the synesthesia. Yes, if you haven't guessed already, our main character has synesthesia, which is always something I love to read about in stories because I myself have synesthesia anesthesia. To a much lesser extent than Alison, obviously, I just have a connection between colours and numbers. Whereas Alison in this book has many different versions of it, but most prominently a manifestation where she sees colours when she hears noises. This is both a blessing and a curse for her. In one way it's so beautiful, it adds so many elements to her music for instance. However, in another, it can be so overwhelming for her and so debilitating. It really does shape her character very interestingly and very unusually. It's not a character trait you'll come across very often. The synesthesia in general, though, just really adds to the book. All the way through, you have these really beautiful, mixed sense descriptions. And Anderson keeps it in there with the chapter titles in this. For every chapter, she gives it a number, but she also gives it a synesthetic feeling. So the synesthesia is always there, even in the numbering of the chapters. Finally, the main reason I loved this book, the psychological plotline. The reason this book is simply amazing is you never know what's real or not. As Alison tries to find out what happened to Tori, you never know if she has really stumbled upon some intricate plot, or whether the doctors are just right and she really is just mental. The perfect thing for me is that all these plots exist simultaneously. They all stand on their own merit, and it's for the reader to decide whether they're going to choose one of these or just have them all exist side by side. A really stunning read, beautifully written, and really utterly interesting. I just haven't come across another book like this. So guys, tell me what you think. Are psychological thrillers your thing? Is this the kind of book you'd like? I definitely loved it. Are you an RJ Anderson fan in general? Have you read any of her other books? Leave me some comments down below and we can chat about it. Anyway, I shall be seeing you guys tomorrow for book review number three. Bye guys.